Welcome back. So we need to get started now actually installing Yonic. Now, the first step is actually to go in here and finding yonicframework.com. I'll add a link in the description. Press get started. And this is actually the guide for installing Yonic. Now, notice there is something right here that says, first, go and install Node.js. Now, let's try and go to Node.js's link right here by clicking this button right here. You can either select to have the latest version that's not completely stable, but good. Or you can take the latest version that's recommended because it's actually stable. And we're going to use the stable one because there's so much other, th so many other things that could go wrong. So let's just take uh, Node.js stable version. I'll try to explain this to you while it installs. So it's downloaded and it's ready to install now. And I'll just double click this guy when it's ready. And what is Node.js? Node.js, to give you guys the simple explanation, is just a way for us to actually execute JavaScript locally on our machine instead of in a browser. That's kind of Node.js is a V8 engine. It says right here, Node.js is a JavaScript runtime built on the V8 engine from Chrome. So we're kind of doing the same thing that Chrome is doing in a browser. We just now can do it locally on a machine. So we can start and create a real web server on a machine, right? That's really awesome. So you can build your own Node server on your machine, just like an IIS or any other server, but it can run JavaScript compared to the other one. So that's kind of what Node.js is all about. Now with Node.js, you also get another thing and that's called NPM, NuGet, <laughs> NuGet, that's C sharp. You get a package management system for Node, just like the NuGet package system. So this is a way, uh, uh, an area where people can share their Node.js um, packages and you can use them. So it's a place for us to grab third part libraries and you get both with this installation. So the setup is very simple. Let's just do a next, I accept, next. Just keep it in the default folder. There's nothing here, just keep everything as it is. Let me try and zoom a bit so you guys can see it. Nothing in here, you can start looking and removing stuff, but I don't think there is anything you wanna remove. You wanna add it to a path, that's very important. I'll do next again, and I'll install it. There we go, so it's just a default installation. I'll say yes, you can install this, it's an okay dear Windows. So after the installation is done, we just need to restart our um, WebStorm and I just did that. So just shut it down and start it up again, exit and just restart it. And now you should be able to write node dash dash v for version and you should see some, oh sorry, not dash dash, just dash v. And you should see something like this explaining that you're now running with node version six. Now if you don't see that there's something wrong, try to restart your computer, try to restart uh, WebStorm and try again to go into a terminal and do this once more, you need to have this until we can, else you can't continue. So figure out why this is not working for you or try and reinstall it. Restarting Windows is always a good help when you have Node not available. So that's it for this lesson. Now we have Node 